So you're probably asking yourself right about now, what does a pool and the nice outdoors, a party shirt with beer and wine all over it, oh and by the way, a Mike's Hard Lemonade, have to do with computers and technology? Well, the answer is absolutely nothing, but here at My PC Help, we like to have fun, and this is just one of the ways we do it. So what we're really here for today is to answer a viewer email. And Jim from Minnesota writes in and he says, Dear Mike, will you please show me what the inside of a hard drive looks like? So today, we're going to answer Jim's question. And I have with me a Western Digital WD-1000 Caviar hard drive. It's actually a 100 gigabyte IDE hard drive. And I've already taken the liberty of removing the screws and we'll show you what it looks like. Um, I do want to point out though that once you've taken the screws out and you've opened a hard drive, you've pretty much ruined it. It'll never work again, unless you're lucky. We probably won't be. So, Jim, there's what the inside of a hard drive looks like. Now, let's go inside, put it on the bench, and let's talk about it. Okay, so we're inside. We've got the hard drive with us. I'm showing you the bottom. I know you want to see the inside, but let's talk about it first real quick. On the bottom of the hard drive is the board. This is actually the board that the hard drive uses to talk to the computer. It controls the heads. It controls the uh, the uh, RPMs, etc., that the platters are spinning, and it controls converting the data from the IDE format into a language that your computer actually understands. And this right here is the motor. Uh, that is actually what spins. It's just a little electromagnetic motor, and that's what spins the platters. Um, on the back of the drive, you will see the IDE connector, some jumper settings that allow you to configure the drive if you have more than one on your machine, and then finally the power connector. Now, when we turn the hard drive over, the first thing that you're probably going to notice if I move it around, and I bet if I get it in the right angle, there's my face. The platters are very shiny. They're very smooth. They're polished. They are just incredibly fine. There's no possible way that you can pick it up that, that you guys can see it on the camera here. Um, the, gliding them back and forth over the platters is the head and that's what this actuator is right here. Um, behind that actuator is the electromagnets that actually magnetize and move the, move the head back and forth depending upon where they um, make their cells magnetic. And then in a couple of places on the hard drive you will find filters. Um, they're just simple little air filters that keep air clean as it goes into the hard drive and allows the hard drive to cool and the insides of it to expand and contract. So we're going to connect this hard drive up and turn it on. I imagine it probably won't work, but we're going to give it a shot. So here we go. I've got bad news for you. The drive's dead. So, you'll notice the head's moving back and forth across the drive, and it's really loud. I hope you can hear me. Tell you what, we'll turn it back off. The head is trying to find track zero right now. It obviously can't find it. So it continues to search, and what it does is it moves the head from one end of the platter all the way back to the other, searching for track zero. Um, it's not going to find track zero because the heads are crashed, it can't read the drive. So the drive's destroyed. I'm going to zoom the camera in here real quick and see if I can't give you a, a much closer uh, view of what's actually going on um, there at the heads. Okay, so I've zoomed it in a little closer so that you can see the actual head and the, uh, the hard drive platters a little bit closer. I'm going to turn it back on again. You're not going to be able to hear me because of the loud noises that the drive's making as it tries to uh, find track zero and the, the, uh, the heads are rubbing against the platter. So it's not pretty, but I, I, wanna get you, I want you guys to actually see the hard disk platters and head in action.
Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn it back off. So the next time that you have a computer at your house and you turn the computer on and you hear that noise, you know it's a bad sign. Okay, so the last thing I want to do here is absolutely destroy this hard drive for you guys and let you see what a head crash looks like. Now, technically, I know it's already crashed, but we're going to really crash it. So let's turn it on. Let it spin up. The hard drive's uh, already unhappy. We'll take our screwdriver and we'll put it on the platter. Oh, do you guys see that? Do you see what's going on there? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. This hard drive is officially destroyed. As a matter of fact, it's really destroyed. Well, thanks, Jim, for sending in the mail. If you have a question, send it in. We'll make a video. Looks like it's time for me to go buy a new hard drive. Wife's not going to be happy about that.